Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In the previous video, um, we worked on exercise uh, 6.2 problems from problem number 1 to 10. Uh, and we also uh, derived the formula for finding nth term of an arithmetic progression. In this video, we'll work out uh, the rest of the problems, problem number 11 to 17. <coughs> so the 11th problem says, how many three-digit numbers are divisible by 7? How many three-digit numbers are divisible by 7? We know, we all know that the least three-digit number is 100. Because before 100, we have a two-digit number which is 99. The least three-digit number is 100. And what is the uh, highest three-digit number? It is 999. Now we have to find out how many three-digit numbers are divisible by 7. <clears throat> Let us try to divide 100 by 7. 7 1's are 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. Uh, 7 4's are 28. <clears throat> Remaining is 2. The remainder is 2 here. So when I try to divide the least uh, 3 digit number 100 by 7, I am getting a remainder 2, which means. 7 will exactly divide 100 minus 2. I have to subtract the remainder from this number. From 100, if I subtract 2, it becomes 98. So, so 7 exactly divides the number 98. 98 is a two-digit number. The next number that 7 would divide exactly would be 98 plus 7, which is 105. So 105 is the least three-digit number that is divisible by 7. Now we'll find out which is the highest three digit number divisible by seven. Again, we'll divide this highest three digit number by seven. Seven ones is seven. Nine minus seven is two. Bring down nine. Uh, seven fours are 28. One is remaining. Bring down nine again. Seven twos are 14. How much is remaining? Five is remaining. So seven does not divide, cannot exact, seven is not exactly divis dividing. 999. 999 is not divisible by 7 because I'm getting the remainder as 5. Then what number is exactly divisible by 7? If I subtract 5 from 999, I get 994. 994 is exactly divisible by 7. So 105 is the least 3 digit number divisible by 7 and 994 is the highest 3 digit number that is divisible by 7. We'll try to write this uh, in the form of a progression, arithmetic progression, uh, which is the next, 105 is the least uh, three digit number divisible by seven, and which is the next uh, number divisible by seven. I just have to add seven here. 105 plus seven is 112. So 112 is the next number divisible by seven. 112 plus seven is 119. So 119 is the next number, next three digit number divisible by seven. So on till 994. So this is an arithmetic progression. 105, 112, 119, so on till 994 is an arithmetic progression of three digit numbers divisible by seven. Now from this arithmetic progression, we have to find out the value of n because we want to find out how many three digit numbers are divisible by seven. The value of a is 105, right? A is the first term. The first term is 105. The value of A is 105. And what is the difference here? 112 minus 105 is 7. We know the last term. The last term is 994. Last term is denoted by the letter L. L is nothing but same. A plus N minus 1 into D. L is nothing but as, as same as n the term which is a plus n minus 1 into d we know the value of a as 105 so in place of a i'm substituting 105 in place of d i'm substituting 7 n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 994 plus 105 if i take it to the right hand side it becomes minus 105 n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 994 minus 105 14 minus 5 is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 so this is 889 
n minus 1 is equal to 889 7 is multiplying on the left hand side so 7 will obviously divide on the right hand side 7 1s are 7 1 is remaining 7 2s are 14 4 is remaining this becomes 49 7 7s are 49 so value of n is 127 minus 1 if I take it to the right hand side it becomes plus 1 so value of n is 128 so there are 128 three digit numbers that are divisible by 7 very simple 12th one is um, almost similar to the 11th one please try it on your own if you have any doubts as always you can post your doubts as YouTube comments I'll read your comments and I'll I'll clear your doubts 13th question for what value of n are the nth terms of two ap's equal this is very simple I'll just uh, give you a hint of how to solve this <clears throat> this is the first ap 63 65 67 so on find out the nth term you know how to find out the nth term right a plus n minus 1 into d this is the second progression 3, 10, 17, so on. Find out the nth term for this also and then equate the nth term of both the progressions. You'll get the value of n as simple as that. 14th one is also very simple. Third term is given as 16. So a3 is 16. What is a3? a3 is a plus 2d. a plus 2d is 16. That is one equation. Seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. So, so a7 minus a5 is 12 a7 is a plus 6d minus of a5 is a plus 4d is equal to 12 just simplify this thing you'll get one more equation so <clears throat> from the first thing you got a plus uh, 2d as 16 and from from if, if you solve a7 minus a15 if you simplify a7 minus a5 a5 is equal to 12 you'll get one more equation uh, just use the elimination method or substitution method solve those two equations you'll get the value of a and d as simple as that and once you have the value of a and d you can you can write down in the arithmetic progression I'm sure you you, you guys can do it on your own try it on your own 15th one I'll do it for you find the 20th term from the end of the arithmetic progression 3 8 13 so on till 2 53 take it so 15th question there are actually two ways of doing it I will actually follow the simpler method of doing this. There are actually two ways of doing it. Find the 20th term from the end of the arithmetic progression 3, 8, 13, so on till 2, 53. They wanted us to find out the 20th term from the end. From the end means, I'll, I'll just reverse the uh, this thing. I'll, I'll just reverse the arithmetic progression. This was the actual arithmetic progression that was given to me. But they wanted us to find out the 20th term that too from the end. So I'm just reversing the arithmetic progression because anyways they wanted us to find out the 20th term from the end. Now if I do this my first term would be 253. <clears throat> first term is 253. And what is the difference? Difference. Finding difference is quite easy right. You just have to subtract two consecutive terms. 3 minus 8 will give you the difference. 3 minus 8 is how much? Minus 5. The difference is minus 5. And they wanted us to find out the 20th term, right? What We'll just use the formula for a n. What is a n? a plus n minus 1 into d. So a 20 will be a plus 20 minus 1 into d, which is a plus 20 minus 1 is 19. a plus 19 d. We know the value of a, which is 253. And we know the value of d, which is minus 5. 253 plus into minus is minus 19 into 5 is 95 right 253 minus 95 8 5 1 158 so the 20th term is 158 the sum of the fourth and eighth terms of an arithmetic progression is 24 and the sum of the sixth and tenth term is 
44 find the first three terms <clears throat> 16th one this is quite simple again what's a what is the question fourth term and eighth term sum is 24 fourth term and eighth term the sum of both of these terms is 24 and what else is given here sum of sixth term and the tenth term is 44 <clears throat> Now A4, what is A4? A4 is A plus 4 minus 1 into D, which means A4 is A plus 3D. A8, A8 is A plus 8 minus 1 into D. 8 minus 1 is 7, A plus 7D. A plus A is 2A. 7D plus 3D is 10D is equal to 24. <clears throat> 2, 10 and 24, all of them, they are divisible by 2. So I can pretty much cancel these numbers by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 5s are 10, 2 12s are 24. So this one becomes a plus 5d is equal to 12. Again, I could have actually taken 2 common from the left hand side and then 2 I could have taken to the right hand side and then divided to 24. <clears throat> That's also one way of doing it. a6, a6 is a plus 6 minus 1 into d, which is 6 minus 1 is 5. So a6 would be a plus 5d. Same. Likewise, a10 would be a plus 90, one lesser than this, 10 minus 1, 9. a plus a is 2a, 9d plus 5d is 14d, is equal to 44. 2, 14 and 44, they, they go by 2 table, so I'm just cancelling all the numbers by 2 table. I end up getting a plus 7d is equal to 22. Now this is our first equation, this is the second equation. You all by, no, by now, uh, I, I believe you all are familiar uh, that we need to <clears throat> solve these two equations using the elimination method, get the, values, get the values of A and D. Once you get the values of A and D, it's not difficult for you to find out the first three terms of an AP, right? So I'm not going to do this completely. From here, you guys are on your own. Do it on your own, please. 17th one, Subha Rao started work in 1995 at an annual salary of 5,000. So Subha Rao started his work in 1995. He was getting an annual salary of 5,000 and received an increment of 200 rupees each year. So first year, he was getting 5,000 rupees, which, which is 1995. In 1995, he was getting 5,000 rupees. Next year, he got an increment of 200 rupees, which means he was getting... 5,200 in, in, in the next year, which is 1996, he was getting 5,200. <clears throat> in which year did his salary reach 7,000? I don't know in which year his salary reached 7,000. So let me take this as a n. Let me suppose, let me suppose that in nth year, his salary became 7,000. We, we, he wanted to find out <clears throat> in which year his salary became 7,000. I really don't know in which year his salary became 7,000. So I'm taking the nth term as 7,000. I'm considering that okay, in nth year his salary became 7,000. This is quite simple. Um, the value of A is 5,000. The value of D is, what's the difference again? The difference between these two numbers, 200. Because 200 salary is getting increased every year. A n. What is A n? A n is A plus n minus 1 into D. A value is 5000. So I am writing 5000 here. N I don't know. So I am writing N as it is. Value of D is 200. 5000 plus this is 7000, right? Take I can actually do it in two ways take okay, let me just do it like this n minus 1 into 200 is equal to 7000 plus 5000 if i take it to the right hand side it becomes minus 5000 n minus 1 into 200 is equal to 7000 minus 5000 is how much 2000 n minus 1 is equal to 2000 200 is multiplying on the left hand side so 200 will obviously divide on the right hand side 200 ones are 200 tens are n is equal to 10 minus 1 if I take it to the right hand side it becomes plus 1 10 plus 1 is 11 
So it will actually take 11 years for Subba Rao to reach an annual salary of 7,000. So in 1995, he was getting 5,000 as, as his yearly salary. It will take 11 years from 1995 for him to get a yearly salary of 7,000. So 1995 plus 11 is how much? 2006. So in 2006, Subbarao will start getting a yearly salary of 7,000. Simple. In the next video, we'll uh, derive the formula for finding sum of first n terms in arithmetic progression. And we'll also work out exercise uh, the next exercise. Uh, which is 6.3 so i'll see you all i'll see you all in the next video until then goodbye